Today, I'm talking to an insanely talented platinum producer who recently produced one of the hardest songs on Drake's For All The Dogs album. And he's worked with a ton of other major artists. In this video, he's gonna be teaching us how he goes about getting placements, and he's also gonna be breaking down one of his biggest songs with Drake. Well, it's safe to say that you're definitely working with big artists now. You just produced Daylight off of Drake's new album, so would you be down to get into that one and break it down for us? Yeah, sure. All right, we're here with my boy, T9C. So how did you actually get into making beats? It started like uh, making beats in uh, 2021. At the beginning, like I, I made uh, six months of making uh, beats, uh, but then I quit because it was like uh, too difficult. And then I restarted. I started so like all these people getting placements and stuff, getting uh, platinum records. And I started seeing lots of people like all those producers, like Nimira, sending out loops and uh, get uh, placements. So uh, I've been like inspired by them and I started to do the, the same thing. Like I started making loops in uh, 2021. From there, I never stopped. That's crazy. You've only been doing it since 2020. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's insane. How long did it take you to get good at making beats and making loops? I think uh, like uh, three years. That's that's crazy. You got a Drake Drake placement within three years of producing. That's fucking nuts. Do you do producing full time right now? Yeah, I'm uh, producing full time since uh, one year. Before I was a uh, tennis coach. Damn. So what made you decide to go full time with music and quit doing that? Last year in June, I said uh, to my parents, to my family, I want to try like doing music like full time and uh, give me one year. If I don't uh, make it, I'm going to return to my job. Because if you really put the work in you, everybody can do it it's not about the the talent but uh, it's more about the, the hard work and the dedication how much work you put in and how much you want it yeah and yeah knowing the right people all that stuff what made you think that you could pull it off that you could go full-time and actually make it work when uh, i started like getting uh, lots of like good like reviews from uh, also big producers when uh, i was sending out loops so people told me oh, that's crazy that's fire but i didn't really like uh, my loops at uh, the beginning it's safe to say it's going pretty good how did you get your first major placement it was like in uh, september uh, 2022 and it was with uh, avi and uh, nitro shorty it's like two two big Spanish uh, artists i sent the loop to uh, prod by s and uh, i placed it with uh, those artists once you took the leap of faith and went full-time did you always know that you were going to make it big with music i wasn't like really 100 percent sure that uh, i would then make it but i just kept going well it's safe to say that you're definitely working with big artists now you just produced daylight off of drake's new album so would you be down to get into that one and break it down for us so this uh, was the original loop that i sent to to smarty <laughs> And the pad actually was a starter, bro. Like, it was this preset from uh, Analog Lab. This preset cut in edge with the, the simplest uh, short progression. And then I, I consolidated and uh, stretched it uh, from uh, 17 to 09, and it sounded like this. And in the second part, I did also, also this. It's uh, the same layer with another preset. I think it was from HZ Bank. And the uh, last thing I did the, the contact uh, piano. More piano with the compressed uh, preset. funny because that day I, I wasn't inspired so that loop uh, at the beginning came came from different loop that i put together different starter that i made and i put together like you you weren't inspired so you just made a starter and then that day you're just like combining starters together yeah exactly so pretty much the whole sample is just the the piano that crazy synth sound and then the vocal right yeah exactly yeah that's fucking that's crazy what's the most underrated plugin you use to make loops i think uh xenology it has like all the all the perfect sounds like horns uh, scenes i've never heard of it okay i'm gonna write that down too from your experience what kind of loops get placed the most often the simplest loop like uh the ones that you make with uh two sounds like all the loops that i got placed it's uh like simple loops yeah because if you can make it sound good with three sounds and you don't need to add 20 different sounds to make it like a hit yeah getting a drake placement is like every producer's dreams how did that feel whenever you first like heard the song and heard drake on your beat it was fire bro i started like jumping uh... that's fucking crazy what did you think of the song when you first heard it first time i heard it uh, i didn't like it <laughs> <laughs> 
Like then uh, at least like five, six times, I said, uh, yeah, that's fire. Yeah. Kind of tell me the story of how you actually got this loop to Drake. I sent the loop like to Smetty, that is a guy under uh, Southside. When I was in LA, like uh, end of August, the manager said like that we had uh, like a placement, but they didn't tell me that he was with Drake. After like uh, two weeks, my lawyer, Andrew, hit me up and they told me that uh, the placement was uh, with Drake. And they say, what, uh, what the fuck? Are you serious? That's fucking crazy. So how'd you get connected with Smat? I connected like one year ago. Like I DM him uh, to send the loops. And uh, from there, he's he been always using my loops uh, like a lot. Are most of your connections from being in person and meeting people? Or are they mostly just from online DMing people? Yeah, mostly online from DMing people. Like, I've been to LA like uh, in August and I consolidated lots of relationships that I got online. I think that's the best way to, to really connect with, uh, with producers. If you were starting from zero like you you had no connections again but you already know how to make music and you know everything that you know right now what would be your step-by-step -step plan to get your first major placement i would like build uh, build my brand uh, starting maybe drop three sample packs and uh running like ads uh, two years ago i was making like 50 75 dm per day and uh, i will do the same going like to the following uh, of uh, big prods you go and see who they follow like what producer would you go to to see like who's who they're following to like find people to work with uh, yeah also two big sample makers because if you mostly send out uh, loops you must uh, see like the the big sample makers who they work with no that's smart so like if you were wanting to find big producers to work with as a sample maker you just go to like q beats following list and be like oh yeah, these are all the yeah what are some of the biggest mistakes that you see sample makers making i think like the, the way they they network for example i got a lot, lot of dms where they write uh, yo here's a pack of loops for you but uh, that's not like a good way to network like there's nothing for me like to gain from you you know what i mean how do you go about sending out loops to some producer i send like daily loops and to some others i send a two weekly pack like 40 loops like for every artist for every genre I got already the folder uh, right? yeah side note you you got signed to q beats right yeah are they just managing you or are you signed to them like a label i'm signed to them like uh like a label that's dope yeah they're fucking killing it if you're down i would love to to cook up a, a collab loop maybe some drake type shit yeah for sure because of these uh three layers from analog lab electrix and uh, my profit i use this preset from analog lab with this midi i really like can turn the audio and uh, this uh, other preset uh, I consolidated and uh, put this, uh, these effects. Portal with uh, this preset, uh, another portal with the reverse delay, another portal <laughs> with uh, this preset, half time at uh, 21%, and it sounds like this. <laughs> and then I added this LED from uh, the Prophet. And then the last part was another lead, then I stretch it. And then as last thing, I added this uh, accent from uh, all sorts, uh, like from a shooter. The accent from uh, that's right. But yeah, if you could send that over to me, I'll flip that shit. While I'm getting that starter loaded up, I quickly just wanted to tell you that we're doing a 40% off sale on Sonics for Halloween. The sale will only be available for a few days, but if you use the code SPOOKY, you can get 40% off all the kits. And I'm actually going to use some of those kits in the cook-up with T9C. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna just grab stems. Just throw some test drums on here. That plug in is sauce. I love this preset right here. Brass anthem preset. the siren so much there we go throw some quick drums on there i'm still trying to get a like a hard one with money bag yo too that'd be fire
you hear anything else on it? Maybe, uh, no, maybe a violin. Uh, let's see. I hear like a cheap sounding violin, like not a realistic one. Yeah, the one is fire. All right, this is the finished beat. If you want to learn about Drake's For All the Dogs Productions and what makes it so amazing, check out this video right here.